What's up everybody welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're new my name is Chris and first and foremost before we start this review of the whole fast sissy bar and the luggage rack and the backrest you get a three for the price of one on this one guys before we start that I want you to hit the subscribe button and I want you to hit the like button because I need it okay so the main piece of article of hardware we're going to be reviewing on this video is going to be the hold fast luggage bar or i'm sorry the hold fast <laughs> sissy bar so i'm going to show you guys a uh, picture of this and show the price if i recall correctly it's about 200 bucks so um, and the part number is going to be included in the picture as well as in the description down below the video if you guys are interested in getting it for yourself. Um, so I've had this pretty much since I got the bike and the reason I got this was because I wanted a sissy bar for when I rode two up with my wifey and I didn't want it to be permanently affixed to the bike because I do not like the way this bike looks with a sissy bar. So the whole fast sissy bar is just this piece pretty much and it comes with all the hardware that you need for it and basically re replaces um, the regular screws that are on i don't know this uh what the piece of hardware this is but on the rear fender it replaces the screws and it has these little bolts and in a, in a few minutes i'm going to bring the bring you guys closer and you guys will get an up close and personal uh, view of it so it detaches very simple like i said i'll show you that in a, in a few minutes but basically it's just this bar um, this is the luggage rack that is separate and then the bar doesn't come with anything and uh, you had to buy the backrest separate so let's get to the very small uh, the smallest review portion of this video is going to be the backrest itself so the backrest itself was ah, neighbors out <laughs> so the backrest itself was very cheap um, and well it wasn't very cheap it was cheaper than the whole rest of the setup <laughs> so but uh this one and i'm sure you guys think it looks stupid because it doesn't look that good on this bike however i don't get i didn't get the backrest for a style for style points i got the backrest mostly for my wife and i had the option of getting one that fit with the style of the bike or getting one that was bigger and more contoured for more comfort um, so i got the one that was bigger and more contoured for comfort because the only reason i got it in the first place was for her comfort on the bike so why am i going to cheap out and get one that i think just looks better when i can get one that actually works better and functions better for her so uh, the plus about this backrest the other backrests just kind of fit you'll see when you get when you come closer but the other backrests kind of just fit um, over it and it'll it'll wiggle back and forth this backrest has a cutout in the back for where the sissy bar will actually fit in so it's more security it's added protection against this sliding all around and either scratching up or falling i've read a couple reviews of the smaller backrests where people were complaining that mid-ride from the vibrations and just going over bumps and stuff the backrest would kind of fall down and then it would mesh mesh, mesh geez it would just kind of mesh around over here and it would wind up kind of popping off and they'd have to fix it every couple hundred miles or something so all right enough with that let's get to the luggage rack the luggage rack is the best piece of equipment i would recommend uh, i it's it's so good that in fact i would recommend getting just the hold fast luggage rack which is basically just like this piece and it comes up a little forward so i am uh the price is the only thing that's keeping me from getting it because it's not a necessity right now for me but i would love to just put the luggage rack on this bike and be able to tote like a little bag with my camera stuff or something or some water or snacks or whatever uh, instead of this whole setup so this is really good it attaches very simple to the hold fast uh, removable sissy bar it's just these kind of this kind of bracket with these two screws and 
that's pretty much it uh, it's very simple it just attaches and it says load capacity 10 pounds i have put more on it i don't know if i would recommend putting more than 10 pounds because it says 10 pounds but it handled fine for what i put on it i mean you feel it it feels very sturdy so you just got to keep in mind that it's it's resting on these two bolts there so and it's it's farther out so if you weigh it up if you load it up real heavy with a lot of weight way out to the end it might might give you some problems but i think 10 pounds is very underrated so okay now the meat and potatoes the actual sissy bar uh good and bad so you've heard me say i really like this this functions very well my wife said it was very comfortable um, so i guess that's an a plus for that the sissy bar itself the design of the detaching works really good the design of the bar itself kind of sucks for this bike at least so i understand why they made it the way they did it flows with the rest of the styling of the bike so i get that and i appreciate that from a aesthetic point of view however if you're putting a bag on it which is why i originally got it besides the fact that i wanted a sissy bar for my wife if you put a bag on it with like the little velcro strap or any kind of like um elastic tethers that would fit over a sissy bar keeping it on there it sucks and you'll see it when you come when you come around closer but it's very it's contoured very weird and where it starts contouring is right in that area where you would want it to be solid for your bag hookups um being here now with percy posted a review video on that sissy bar as well and he had the exact same stuff to say about it uh that that i'm saying right now so i'll go ahead and post a link to his channel <clears throat> good guy he's very supportive of my video so thank you brother i appreciate it but go check his review out as well i think he probably hits more details than i do um because he, he uses it a lot more than i do for for luggage purposes more than i do so <clears throat> let's get on to how it attaches okay so it comes with these two bolts um bushings i guess you could say but they replace it's just big and you'll see when you come over here but they're bigger they're, they're kind of wider and they just kind of fit in so before you guys come close i'll show you how easy it is you just take these two tabs pull them back and up and then when you pull them up it'll push the rear of the bar up and then it just kind of lifts up from there and comes up and that's i mean super super simple and to put it back I do it slowly so I don't scratch any of the paint, but it's very simple, same concept, push it on those two, and then that's it. So it's very easy, and it's on there, it's a very positive click. I know they, I don't have them, but I know they do sell locking hardware for the back if you're in an area where you're worried that someone's going to try to <coughs> jack your stuff, uh, and you you know you park at the 7-Eleven and you come out and sissy bar's gone. So all right you guys need to come over here to see this better well hey how there well hey howdy welcome so well hey howdy okay so again I'll show you exactly how to take it off lift these two they fit into these little notches <clears throat> lift that up in the back and just pull and that's it it's pretty lightweight you can see a little bit better detail of how this part fits in it would just be this bar you'll see in the picture so this is the rear of it you can see where it contours up and this would be fine unless you're using a luggage bag because when you use a luggage bag that's exactly where you want it to be solid so the rear end of this bike is kind of fat uh, no pun intended on the name of it being the fat bob however i think there could have been something slightly better design wise to kind of alleviate that issue or maybe they need to start making bags with this kind of design specific specifically in mind due to the straps for the bags needing to start higher up so, all right guys that's about all i have to say about the holdfast sissy bar the sport luggage rack <clears throat> and this backrest if you like the video please like the video <laughs> and if you like what i'm doing here and what you see then please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon because you need to be notified every time i post a new video which is going to be more frequent so uh, before i forget to mention too check the harley shirt 
It was from my trip to Colorado, Mile High Harley. It was cool. Uh, got a couple shirts from there because I collect the shirts. So, And I just realized I never told you what bike I ride. So I ride a 2019 Fat Bob uh, with the 107 Milwaukee 8 engine. So everything I posted will be available, or everything I posted will be for this 2019 and up uh, i believe the 2018 is the same specs as well so but it'll have all that on the harley website if you're curious about getting it so uh, now would i recommend this whole package deal i would recommend getting the wait well, okay let's let's take this in two separate two separate things um, if you're having a passenger if you're going to be riding two up enough where you want a sissy bar yes it is a very good option opposed to getting a standard bolt it on sissy bar because you can take this off and then the bike can look just banging without it so yes a very good option if you want it for the actual sissy bar capabilities if you want it as a backpack holder like a storage option um i can't say that i would recommend it for that uh what i would probably if i had to do it all over again just for that portion of it i would probably just get the hold fast Hold fast luggage rack so they have this luggage rack but it basically is just a luggage rack and it clips on just as easily and removes just as easily as this it's just a luggage rack not the sissy bar so if you're doing it just for holding purposes just for putting like a bag on there or maybe you know they have tons of great options for strapping and bolting on well not bolting strapping velcroing all that nonsense to just these racks and overall that i think is the best option unless you need a ton of storage in which case you're probably not going to be taking a fat bob anyway you're probably going to have some other model soft tail and or a touring bike so for luggage purposes i recommend probably just getting the hold fast AC bar which is probably what i'm going to do that way i don't have to put this thing on when i'm just want like a small bag and like you know like i said to take cameras to take water snacks anything like that so because that part that portion is great that portion is awesome as far as the actual mechanism where it locks on the little bushings that come with it, excuse me they get a little a little tickly in my throat <clears throat> the bushings that come with the with the hardware to to remove and put on the hold fast sissy bar uh, they are they're kind of obtuse so they're ovally so one side uh, one way they'll be skinnier and then if you turn them they kind of get wider in that area so they are very adjustable in terms of if you have a little shake a little rattle in spots like that just turn it and it'll fit more snug um, so that's really good and the i don't know if you saw but the actual sissy bar itself has these little rubber they're like half grommets um, but they fit around so you don't have to worry about it scratching all that area up uh, it's it's a very good design the design is very good like i said just the design of the top of the sissy bar is kind of <coughs> <coughs> okay the design of the the top of the sissy bar is kind of lackluster in terms of putting bags on it so if you're going for ultimate style but you want a little bit of rider security for your passenger and they don't mind having no mid to upper backrest the lower uh sissy bar there's two styles for this bike this is the standard height one there's a low one that sits really low and there's kind of a eh, maybe about three to four inches <coughs> uh, boy this florida air is killing me it's what i get for trying to do a review on a relatively nice day in the sun for you guys the the fat bob styling has this little kind of half backrest pad and that style looks really good with this bike it sits a couple inches up uh, if i find a picture and i don't forget by the time i post this i'll throw it up so you can see it but that in terms of style wise fits the bike really good and it looks nice so if you want a happy medium and your passenger wife husband whoever it is whoa, uh, doesn't matter doesn't mind having a you know just a little bit of lower back it will keep them from sliding off just like you got the little pad on the lower back too so thank you for watching the whole video uh, this is also in 4k so <clears throat> if you like the quality let me know because i'm going to keep doing 4k videos even though it takes so long to render on my computer and to post on youtube but i think the overall quality is worth it so until next time guys ride safe have fun dad out <laughs>